हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे वी आर बैक विथ पार्ट टू ऑफ द फिजियोलॉजी इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स सो बिफोर बिगनिंग विद द वीडियो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल सो नाउ कमिंग टू द टॉपिक्स सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड फाइव यूनिट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो सो दिस इज द सिक्स यूनिट सो द सिक्स यूनिट इज कार्डियो वैस्कुलर सिस्टम सो इन कार्डियो वैस्कुलर सिस्टम वॉट आर द टॉपिक्स मीन्स द ब्रॉड टॉपिक्स विच यू हैव टू रीड सो द फर्स्ट इज फंक्शन एनाटमी ऑफ द हार्ट एंड द ब्लड वेसल्स then the characteristic of cardiac muscles what are their features then cardiac cycle venous waves and venous return then next topic is cardiac output then its pathology that is cardiovascular regula uh, regulation what happens if the regulation is broken down then blood pressure and its regulation then the heart rate then cerebral circulation and stroke then uh, coronary circulation how the heart gets the uh, uh, blood then other circulations in the body such as in the limbs and all those are basically for pathology purpose so you can have a basic idea or everything is given in your book so if you are reading the entire book you can see that these topics are not missed then next is ecg ecg as such is not very important for the first year students but still you should know the basics which wave represents what and the broad pathologies like in mi what happens these are very common questions then next is effect of gravity and exercise on circulation the next is hemodynamics how the blood pressure is regulated what are the systems regulating it next is circulatory shock and cardiac failure so these are the basic broad topics now what are the important topics in this so first is baroreceptor this can come as a long question what are baroreceptors how they sense the fall in blood pressure next is uh, chemoreceptors similar concept just they sense the chemical levels of uh, means the concentration levels of carbon dioxide oxygen and h plus then next what is what are resistance vessels what are capacitance vessels these are nothing but different names of arteries veins capillaries so you need to know which one is called what these are one liners which might be asked as an mcq or a viva question then next is why there is splitting of second heart sound in deep inspiration so this is a physiology question related to expansion of the thoracic cavity we need to know about this then why there is bradycardia in athletes then uh, what is cns ischemic response how does the brain respond to ischemia then why is sa node called the pacemaker the next question role of pressure flow and resistance in circulation so this is a very broad topic means you can get a long question on this then next is arterial pulse so pulse what are the characters of the pulse and abnormalities of the pulse so this is not basically the first year level so you need to have a basic idea because we will read in detail about all these in medicine in your final prof then what is edrf endothelial derived relaxation fa factor that is nitrous oxide what role does it play then next is cardiac output what are the factors regulating cardiac output then the cardiac cycle the diagram of cardiac cycle what are the different phases what are their durations this is very very important question long question might be asked then there is arterial bp and its regulation as i have already said this is also one of the chapters and this is also a long question then uh, heart sound so i have already said splitting of second heart sound what is first heart sound why they occur all that then effect of catecholamines on heart catecholamines uh, that is epinephrine nor epinephrine okay next is what is shock what are the different kinds of shock you might be asked then ecg waves what is the significance of each wave that is important then uh, uh, generation of cardiac impulse how impulse is generated how it travels throughout the heart and what are the anomalies anomalies means tachycardia bradycardia atrial fibrillation so you need to have some basic ideas not in very depth but basic idea what it is what is the heart rate in atrial fibrillation what is the heart rate in atrial flutter when it is called bradycardia when it is called tachycardia because these things are only going to form the base base of your medicine because in medicine these things only are going to be elaborated so if you know from now that will be good for you then next is what is av nodal block heart block levels of heart block first degree second degree complete heart block what is uh, what happens how the ecg waves are uh, present in all these then cyanosis what is cyanosis when does cyanosis occur what should be the level of deoxygenated hemoglobin conditions in which cyanosis can occur peripheral cyanosis central cyanosis then why cardiac muscle cannot be tetanized this can be a reasoning question then 
why CGMP causes vasodilatation and what is homometric regulation of cardiac output. So these were some of the uh, important topics from your cardiovascular system. Coming to the seventh unit that is the excretory system. So the excretory system, what are the chapters means what are the topics which you have to read. The first one is nephron, its structure. Next is glomerular filtration. Next is tubular reabsorption. Then concentration of urine, regulation of acid-base balance, features of urine, uh, micturition. Uh, these are the various topics which you have to read related to the excretory system. Now coming to the important topics which you will get in your exam. First one is GFR, glomerular filtration rate. How you, you will measure that and what are the factors which affect GFR? This is a very important question in all the subject, whether it is physiology, pharmacology, or whether it is medicine, you may be asked what are the factors regulating GFR. Next is concentration of urine. How does concentration of urine takes place? This is also a long question in Ganong also very beautiful diagram is made in which it is explained. Next is renal counter current mechanism. Okay. Next is tubuloglomerular feedback and glomerulotubular feedback. Both these feedbacks have their different roles. They are have different uses so you need to know about them next is uh, polyuria in case of normal ADH secretion this is actually a question related to endocrine but since here urine word is coming so you can get an idea about uh, why means you can correlate it with uh, this unit also but you will read about it in ADH that is in endocrine next is what are glomerular structure of glomerular filtration barrier so the barrier the ultra structure what layers it is made up of what proteins are there uh, if you can learn about the diseases in case of deficiency of protein that will also be good but uh, that is not asked very much in the first year next is your um, uh, glomerular filtration barrier done the next is renal blood flow and its regulatory mechanism okay next is constant uh, renal glucose transport this is very important topic that in diabetes when will the glucose appear in the urine what should be the concentration so that is important Next is role of kidney in regulating the pH of the body. Next is cortical and juxtamedullary nephrons. These two types of nephrons are there. The difference might be asked. Then there is inulin clearance. So how inulin clearance, what, uh, what amount is cleared, what can we calculate using it. So these are important. Next a correlated topic with CVS and uh, kidney is the RAS. Because RAS it is activated through the JG cells and it acts on the cardiovascular system then uh, means it helps to maintain the cardiovascular BP and uh, cardiac output. Next one, another correlated topic with general physiology is the body fluid compartments. What amount of fluid is present in extravascular, intravascular, how you will measure it, how it is maintained. So these are two correlated topics. So these are the important topics from the excretory system. Next coming to one of the very important topics of physiology that is endocrine system. You will definitely get one long question in one of the sections of your question uh, paper. So what are the topics? So the topics which you have to read first those. So first is mechanism of hormone action. How hormones act? What is hormone? All those things are introductory chapter. Then next is the pituitary gland and its hormones, the thyroid gland, the adrenal cortex, adrenal medulla. Both of them have different functions. Okay adrenal medulla releases uh, epinephrine or epinephrine all that next is the calcium related hormones that is the parathyroid hormone the calcitonin vitamin d all those and lastly is endocrine pancreas and you'll you, in which you'll read about the uh, insulin glucagon all that so coming to the important topics so this uh, unit has a lot of important topic a lot of short notes might be asked about the diseases which occur due to the deficiency or excess of the hormones so I'm just going to give you the list so that you can read. So first is myxedema, then gigantism, acromegaly, cretinism, then uh, yeah, so these are the diseases, then Cushing syndrome, uh, then uh, physiological goiter in pregnancy, in pregnancy, okay. Uh, next you can get diabetes, very very common disease, okay. Next uh, you can get short note on the hormones itself like growth hormone or thyroid hormone or ADH aldosterone, glucocorticoid, that is very important, glucocorticoid, its role, then mineralocorticoid, uh, then you can get parathyroid hormone, its role in calcium metabolism, then uh, cortisol, that is hydrocortisone, glucocorticoid, it's another name, next somatomedine, what are somatomedine, 
then prolonged reaction time in hypothyroidism this you can get a reasoning question why there is prolonged reaction time in hypothyroidism then why is insulin required for normal growth what is its role in normal growth then why gonadotropins increase after menopause because there is loss of negative feedback okay next what are islets of langerhans what are the hormone what are the different kinds of cells what hormones do they release then insulin insulin you can get a wrong question how, what is its function how it is regulated how it is secreted which kind of receptor does it had uh, has what kind of action it has next is diabetic coma then uh, calcitriol that is vitamin d3 that you can get a short note then synthesis and regulation of adrenal cortical hormones glucocorticoid mineralocorticoid and sex steroids so the flow chart is given in your book are related to the synthesis that is very important because next year when you will read pharmacology in which you will read about the drugs then there are drugs which inhibit the synthesis at different levels so until or unless you know about the synthesis uh, you will not be able to correlate that where this drug will inhibit the synthesis so please read that carefully even if it does not come in exam it is important next is thyroxine thyroid hormone it synthesis synthesis of thyroid hormone takes place in various steps you need to remember the steps it might come in a short note or long question also then uh, why goiter occurs due to uh, iodine deficiency what is the role of iodine in thyroid hormone synthesis then uh, why glucocorticoid therapy should not be withdrawn abruptly very very important question in physiology and in pharmacology why it should not be withdrawn abruptly then Uh, what are the blood levels of growth hormone and IGF one, that is insulin-like growth factor one in different conditions such as pituitary dwarfism, gigantism, acromegaly, etc. Next is your ketoacidosis in diabetes mellitus. So you see diabetes mellitus and its complication, ketoacidosis, diabetic neuropathy, retinopathy. You can get short notes. Then there is why is bradycardia seen in few chromocytoma? Okay, so this question you might be asked reasoning. Then, why is moderate hyposecretion of PTH? Why does moderate hyposecretion of PTH elicit characteristic ipsilateral grimace on tapping the facial nerve at the angle of jaw? So this is also one of the reasoning question. Many more you might get in your previous year question paper. So you can look at your own college's previous year question paper to have an idea. But otherwise, this year clinical questions are must. You must. know how to deal with clinical question then only you will be able to solve the question so this was about the endocrine system so this was the part 2 of the physiology important topics uh, next we will return with part 3 with the rest of the topics thank you very much